We're trying all new foods available at Universal Studios Orlando. Let's see. I'm Jay, and I'm Sam, and you're watching the Theme Park Foodies, and we are back at Universal Studios Orlando post soft opening of Minion Land because there are so many new foods to try. A lot of the focus, I feel like, for vloggers has been on the Minion Cafe, which justifiably it's on. The food there is very interesting, very fun, and I loved the cheese ray I had last video. But in last video, I kept talking about how you were in here, Sam. And I want you to be able to try all the new foods that are here too. And there's some stuff outside the Minion Cafe that we want to try that's kind of like right near it that just opened too, right? Yeah, and one of the things was like our favorite item from Universal Studios Hollywood. So I'm excited to see that and see how it compares. Yes, the everything pretzel. But here it doesn't come with cheese. It comes with, a, with an aioli. Like a vegan aioli. Yes. Which is interesting. It looks a bit different. I'm excited to try that out. There's also, I think, a stromboli, right? No, calzone. Calzone, Over in New oh. York, and we are... New Yorkers, so I feel like we'll be a good judge of the uh, calzone. We gotta see, you gotta see how that tastes. Also, you've never been to Minion Cafe. Yes. I really want you to try the cheese right, but there's also some other things that we find palatable that we've seen in other videos that have intrigued us. Um, there's like a pork sandwich, right? Yeah, pork sandwich. And then I also want to go over to the freeze ray pops. Yes. You didn't get to try that. Yeah, didn't have And the, the real feel is 110 today, <laughs> so I think it's a perfect day for a little for pop. Freeze ray pop. Yeah, so it's gonna be a food crawl trying all new foods that you can find throughout. Universal Studios Orlando, right near that new Minion Land area. It is soft open, so we may not be able to try everything because it's not guaranteed everything's gonna be open, but it looks like it is. So, ready to go in? If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us while we crawl brand new foods here at Universal Studios Orlando. Thank you for guiding our way, Optimus Prime. All right, we're going right underneath those big golden arches to the new Minion Land. All right, we made it, we're inside. This yellow cab is be right before Minionland. I think this is still considered like a production central type area. And that booth right there, right over here, that's where we're going to be able to find the everything pretzel. This is going to be such an easy crawl. Everything is so close. Yeah. <laughs> As we're walking up here, we're looking at the menu and it does seem like a vegan friendly menu. Some non-vegan things, but very vegan friendly. Oh, Sam has acquired the pretzel. All right, we've acquired the everything pretzel. It doesn't feel as fresh as the one we had, I feel like in Hollywood, but definitely it's is buttery. It's pretty hot and fresh to me. See how it dips in this aioli. Vegan friendly. Mitch, you've had it already, right? Not, Mitch, this year. not the aioli. Not the oh, aioli. maybe we could give him a little taste. Mm. <laughs> you want some? Sure. I'll back end it for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aww. We're sweet. Wow. It's um, like curry, right? Yeah, it's curry. Mm -hmm. Not as fresh as the one in Universal Studios. Hollywood. It tastes pre-frozen to me. It's still good though. I like the curry sauce. It's different. Probably the best thing for my stomach. <laughs> I will give that a seven. So we'll have to go a seven. Yeah. Because it's not a six, but eight's too high. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, the, the everything combination makes it unique. Um, this makes it unique. But if it was like fresh, you can go like eight, nine category, which is not there. All right. So we're going to Minion Cafe now. Sam's first time. Let's head down. The new Minion Land. Bill and Con's still not open. All right, we're inside. Oh, we're getting to eat in the break room this time. Last time I was in the main dining area. Well, that food looks good. All right, so we got the Uncle Drew, right, Sam? Uncle Drew's belly fill-in pork sandwich. But I think, Sam, I'm going to try the sandwich. But I want Sam to try a Minion Tot, because I really like these last time. And it, is, were... it is very cute. They were like crispy on the outside. Wow, they're really good. Ooh. That's what I said. They were so good. I really want you to get the cheese ray, but we're going to be eating a lot, so. Yeah, hard to say. yeah, no, these are really good. I give these a nine. Yeah, I think I gave them an eight. You couldn't hear that crisp. Yeah, and they're soft on the inside. These are good. I need a crispy tot. I don't like mine mushy. These are perfect. And the right amount of little salt on top, too. All right, the Uncle Drew's. What is this called again? Belly fill-in pork sandwich. So what's in it, Sam? Slow roasted porchetta, chimichurri sauce, mustard aioli, apple butter, 
bacon jam. I love Hawaiian buns. Definitely a pretzel bun. You, you could say it, Mitch. They are, they are <laughs> referring to it as a Hawaiian bun. Mm. It says Hawaiian pretzel bun, so technically we're both right. Oh, okay, okay. It's a pretzel bun from Hawaii. It's very tender. It's slow roasted. Yeah. How's the Jimmy Cherry song? It's very light. I could use more of it, honestly. This particular one is just a little fatty for me. Just too much fat. I need more of this and less of this. I have seen iterations of it online that looked a little less fatty. But this one, unfortunately, is a bit too fatty for me. I like the bun. I like the sauce. It's very gooey. Look at my hands. It's a messy thing. It's a messy thing. Um, I'll give it a six because it's just the fat is what's throwing it off for me. I think it's very original. I think if you took that away, this has like potential of eight, eight category, but this it's particular a one. theme park quick service sandwich. Right? Yeah, it has good yeah look at the sauce on top of it. It's good. I mean, it's, it's good. It's original, but just less fat. And you're going eight category with this. All right, let's see what Tha Sam thought of the Minion Cafe. All right, Sam, that was your first time inside the Minion Cafe. You saw a lot of different rooms, a lot of different experiences. I Maybe mean, not experiences, but experienced a lot of different types of vibes in there. What'd you think? I did. I thought it was very cute. It's super colorful. I actually really like that sandwich, too. I had it off camera. I really like the chimichurri sauce. And then also that, like, apple jam, because I thought it was, like, sweet and spicy. What would you give it? One out of ten? Um, I would give it a seven. I enjoyed it, and those pots are amazing. Yeah, that's a really good. Pets, I will, pay the dollar up charge for the pets. The pet rocks off the menu though. The, the peanut butter and jelly dessert I wanted to try. So but hopefully maybe it'll come back in a different form. Uh, next on our list, the calzone. calzone. We're going to New York. New York. We're, going, New York. we're going home. <laughs> All right, just so you guys know where this booth is, Pop Banana is right here. And then the Jimmy Fallon ride, we're gonna like walk right past that. And the booth is right over here to the right. I'll try to zoom in so you can see it a bit better. All right, so we got a slice of pizza and we got the calzone, 57 fare. Now this is right across from Jimmy Fallon. It's located in the New York City area here at Universal yeah. Studios Orlando. What should I go with first, Sam? The slice or the- Slice. The, the slice, all right. So we're Italians from New York, pizza snobs, some would say. We've been trying to find the best pizza in Disney World. We actually have a whole, um, Playlist on that. Sam, I can already tell you, this is not your type of slice. Not that baby type of slice either. All right, so let's see how this is. Floppy is all hell. It's not as floppy as Pizza Ponte. Mm -hmm. mm. But, I'd say better than Louis for me. It's the same sauce as Louis has. It's the same sauce you'll find pretty much in all of Universal, except maybe the Italian restaurants. The best Italian restaurant in Universal is Mama Della's, in my yes. opinion, at the Portofino Bay. This is just, it's too floppy for me. It's got a decent taste. I just like pizza, but I can't go anything higher than a six with this. For a flat, for the flat crust. I think six is a little high. Yeah, for the, for the nice mozzarella and for the pepperoni, I'll give it a six, but in all actuality, without that pepperoni, it's probably only a five. So for me, I'm going six with this. All right, this is the calzone. It's the thing we're talking about from the beginning. Comes a little dipping sauce. Let's see how it is. That looks promising. There's spinach in it. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. Were there different flavors, or there was only one? The only, the only, it was just it's like a spinach and like multiple cheese flavor. What's good about this is the outside is very crispy. Did you see that? And then you get a nice big thing of sauce. I might use this for my slice. Mmm. Pretty decent. I'll go seven with this. The crust is really where it's at. It's a solid seven. All right, Sam's gonna try it. Sam, you're a bit harsher critic than me, so I, I like to get your views on things. I don't like when I have to like, work to get the pizza because it's like not... It's a flop. <laughs> It's way too soft. It's too like doughy, mushy. That's what I thought. I mean, I, I just like pizza. Once I know that that's like the situation, like it just, I'm immediately turned off. I would not get this again. Although I did try the calzone, right? I thought the calzone was good. It had more structural integrity. I think the crust in the calzone is where it's at. The inside was good too. This is a four. Womp, womp, womp. 
It looks sad. It looks like a four. What about the calzone boy? The calzone, I would give a seven. Nice. All right, we are now leaving New York, heading back into Minion Land to try the spot. I wasn't able to try it last time. Freeze Pops. I think that's what it's called. All right, Freeze Ray Pops. The Frozen Grew Nutella flavored. I've wanted to try this for a while, Sam. I feel like you wanted to get another one. I don't know. You're going to find out. I don't like that it's black, though, because I don't like the food coloring stuff. We had to have these stay in the shade because of how hot it is. This thing was going to melt immediately. Let's see how the interior looks. Looks a little like strawberry-ish. You're not digging it? No, it's good. I don't taste Nutella. I feel like the Nutella taste is like an aftertaste. Okay. What's the primary taste? I feel like this is chocolatey. Ooh, okay. That's good. I feel like it's, what is it, eight ninety nine? I don't Doesn't remember, I think so, yeah. yeah. expensive, like I feel like I can get like um, ice cream man, you know, pop for like half the price, but we are in Universal. So. What would you give it, one out of ten? Look six. Okay, yeah, it seems like a, you know, the a little different. keeping it together though, which is nice. Yeah, the shell is definitely needed in this hot, these hot days. But I feel like the Nutella just tastes like, a, like an aftertaste. We just hopped into Bake My Day, and I just realized as we walked in, I don't think this was here last time, so he's actually shooting arrows to this guy, hanging him up on the wall. Either that wasn't there, I didn't notice it. All right, so we got two of the pops. I do want to say last time I was here, I thought the, the peanut butter and jelly s'more that I got was peanut butter and jelly flavored. The s'more wasn't peanut butter and jelly flavored. That was just s'more flavored. The cake pop, which I'm about to try, this is peanut butter and jelly flavored, and this is banana right, cream ply. It's such a tiny part of the stick. Like, there's like, you can't hold it. It's yeah, and it's little, very hot it's out. A little stump. I felt like I had to do the Minions Justice and get something banana flavored. But I do like banana flavoring, so. So let's see. Banana cream pie cake pie. It's very big. It tastes like banana runs as a cake. Which I like banana runs, but if you don't like an artificial banana taste, you will not enjoy this. But I'm into it. Like it's a very, just like a very dense feeling. It's a big portion too. I wish I had more stick to hold it because like it's. Yeah, I felt like mine needed more stick too. He needs a little more support. I like it though. That's coming from someone who likes banana. Seven. Okay. Yeah, I feel like a seven makes sense, especially if it has that artificial banana flavor, and it is falling apart in this Florida heat. Yeah, Ten degrees. So. Okay. So this is the um, peanut butter and jelly cake pop. That's what I wanted to try last time. You did see our last video, I, I apologize for, that's why I didn't taste the flavor in that s'more. I still would give the, the s'more probably a four. I wasn't a fan of it. But hopefully this is better. No, I like the peanut butter, and I'm gonna finish it. But the grape jelly is so artificial. It's almost like a, a medicine type of grape oh, flavor. Oh, like a robitussin? Yeah. It's, and I thought it was going to have actual jelly in it. There's no real jelly in that. The, the peanut butter is good. I'm going to go four. Aww. Yeah, it's... Can I try yours? Yeah. Because it just... Mine tastes super If you like cool. banana runs, you'll like that. Like, it tastes like if banana runs for mm. a cake. See, I don't feel like that tastes super artificial, but I do like it. Camera overheating is so hot. Uh, yeah, it just for your flavor, Sam, I didn't get super artificial banana, but maybe it was. I said I thought the popcorn, banana popcorn in the last video was an artificial flavor, but you said it was, or you said that flavor was, and I, I want to compare it to the banana popcorn. You know what I'm saying? Your sure. pop? Okay. I made that more complicated than it needs to be. Yeah. Um, but I would give your pop a seven. I like your pop. I like the pop. pop I got, I would give a four or two. It just, the artificial flavor is what threw it off. You know what I mean? Yes. All right, I think that was a real successful crawl. That and was one of the best days I've had at Universal. Yeah, in a long time, I agree. Seriously. All right, so that is it for our crawl, trying out all new foods that you could find throughout Universal Studios Orlando, but I guess more specifically in the New York section, Minion Land section, and the uh, Production Central section. Your favorite thing we ate today, Sam? The calzone surprised me. But yes. I mean, the tots, I, the tots were amazing. Probably Those were the best too. tots I've ever had. Yeah. Happy I got to ch check out the Minion Cafe. Yeah. Um, I thought everything that we got, with the exception of the pizza, I would get again. Yeah, the frozen grew, I enjoyed. Um, I liked your banana 
I think the banana yeah, was the way to go. Cake pop. But yeah, if they put real jelly in my cake pop, it would have been better. Yeah. Uh, but I think for like what you said, those minion tots are so good. Like no reason, no justifiable <laughs> reason for them to be that great. I'm happy we got to see Mitch. Um, the everything pretzel was good, but not as good as. Not as Mitch's good as. as yeah, I feel like California always just always a little bit better. But I'm happy at least we got yeah. our iteration of it. I would have liked a little cheese with it over the aioli, but I like the aioli too. Yeah. I feel like you're not really a. Um, what was the type of uh, spice thing? Curry. Like curry for person. Yeah, you know? I would prefer cheese. And also on our way out, we got to meet fellow YouTubers, Magtastic Productions. We'll link their channel below. Yes. It was so nice to meet you guys. Like, honestly, it was like such a nice way for us to end the day. Yeah, they were so it, nice. It, so it was cool. a really nice, we had a really nice day, despite yeah. it being like very, very hot. Yeah, it was a fun Universal Orlando day. We got to eat a tasty, bunch of cool food. You tasty. got to see the Minion Land for the first time and the Minion Cafe. Yeah. So it was, I, I, I had a really good day. Me too. And I can't wait to go back. Next time we do, Sam's got to eat that cheese ray. Yes, I do. <laughs> if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out to the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. It helps other people find the video. Subscribing, it also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time the videos come out. Just when soon? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Don't make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. This is like a picturesque little area over here with the globe turning. Also, Powerade on a hot day. Yeah. 10 out of 10, like it just hits different. Like I am like feeling good from this Powerade. You know, the <laughs> they have a frozen, like a slushy power, Powerade at Magic Kingdom. Oh yeah. In the confectionery. That we, we like to get that on the way out. It's so good on the way out. If, if there's one thing I suggest to you is to get that, just the icy of the it's Powerade. It's a goofy glacier. Yes. It is delicious. It's It quenches your thirst. It's so good. I feel like that ball, the universal ball right now, like with the mist makes me want a nice cold water right now too. <laughs>